livid I am, bloody furious, furious. I've just now returned from a dinner party to which I'd invited myself. My intention being, I'd get myself out there, meet some people, and I'm looking forward to it. Look, I brought this. A nice bottle of Romani Conti, 45. And I'm expecting a nice night, anticipating I might meet a new potential wife when I arrive at the house of... In light of what I saw, I hesitate to say friend, rather host of the dinner party, when I arrive at the house and I am assaulted by the sight of a sign. A sign made from humongous cut-out letters pasted across the window. And do you know what it said? You won't believe me when I tell you this. It read, David, Boris, Toff, Scum. Toff, Scum. Toff, Scum. Words fail me. Really, I say that is too far beyond the pale. And I'm having none of it. So you know what I did? I turned around and came straight back home. No, I did not attend the dinner party. Why? Because I refuse to break bread with the likes of people who hold such venomous beliefs. And now I've had time to think it over and I'm still hopping mad. Practically apoplectic. Toff scum. I ask, when did it become acceptable to express such prejudice? I mean, toff scum. If that isn't inciting hatred, then I don't know what is. And I'm hearing this sort of thing more and more. More and more, I'm hearing people attack criticised and besmirched the names of institutions such as Westminster School and the University of Oxford. To my face, knowing full well that I attended each of these establishments. Which, I have to say, I could only describe as venerable. Venerable. And if going to Westminster and Oxford makes one tough scum, then tough scum I am. But let me ask you this. Do I look like tough scum? Do I sound like tough scum? My point exactly. <sighs> but so often is this the case when battling ignorance, ignorance and hatred, which extends even here to my own YouTube channel, where one user writes, let me find it. Here it is. I hate your posh face and life. Die, you cunting twat. Die, you cunting twat. So what? Now it's acceptable to wish death upon Toff scum. But let me dispel a few myths. Firstly, Westminster is a London school. It doesn't get any more inner city. There, one isn't cloistered or shut off from the world, as is the case with many a rural public school. No, we come face to face with life in the raw as it is on those streets that surround Westminster. Which is presumably why so many of our old boys go on to become leaders. Leaders who say what you will about them, are enlightened, mannered, fair. Qualities which are the hallmarks of Minster. And as for Oxford, there I was exposed to friends from Cumbershire, places in Scotland. I even met someone from Clapham. Clapham in Yorkshire. So this idea that toff scum from Westminster and Oxford are out of touch with the man on the street is Boulder dash through and through. My final word on the matter is this. It is bigotry. It is abuse. And I am sick to the back teeth of being made to feel excluded and ostracised from society. Have a good night.